G'day gamers, Gob here. Welcome back to Gob's Quickies. Now, I, I thought I'd start here because I just created this world to do this tutorial in and I spawned in it and there's this block of stuff here. And I was like, Gob, I haven't seen this before. What is it? Well, it is tough. One of the new blocks in 117 and it seems to have naturally generated here in the overworld. I thought that was quite interesting. Anyway, what we're here for today is the latest snapshot brought in glowberries and they are a lovely little vine that will uh, produce these berries when they're bone milled and the berries produce light. So they're a great light source for your base and they're a plant to Boot, and uh, they are very exciting so uh, I thought I'd show you a way of making an AFK glowberry farm that will produce more glowberries than you could possibly ever need let's go do it now first things first if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please chuck me a sub so you can catch all my updates and all my material anyway this is my glowberry farm very simple very pretty. I've used some of the azalea bushes. Aren't they great? Look at that. Look at that. It's actually got a, a base and it's just so lovely. Anyway, so how's this work? Is you walk up to the glowberry here and you can key bind uh, a key and you can just click. Just constantly click. And every time you click, you get a glowberry. And if you just AFK here, you'll get more glowberries than you can possibly ever need how cool is that so how do we build it now to build that berry farm as I had it there for all the prettiness in it you need an area that is five by five okay and the resources you're going to need I don't need those is you're going to need an observer a hopper some decorative blocks a dispenser about half a stack of bricks a glowberry to start with three pieces of dust a chest and about half a stack of building blocks that's what we need so how do we start it to start this build what we want to do firstly is find the center at the front and whack down our chest go behind our chest and we want to whack down a hopper facing into the chest and the way we can tell it's facing into the chest is the nozzle goes into it okay so you're going to do crouch click and then we want to go around the chest. Now we might. No, we'll start with the the pretty ones, and we'll put our chiselled stone bricks in the corner, and we'll go around the base, and we'll fill all that in. Just like that. Alrighty. Now on one side, doesn't really matter which. Okay, we're going to do it on this side, I think. We will place down our dispenser facing over the hopper. What we want to do there is put an observer at the back facing towards the hopper. So the redstone dot is facing towards the back. Now with our three pieces of dust, we'll come out the back of the observer, around the corner, and then back into the dispenser. Now you want to fill the dispenser up with bone meal. just like that we're nearly done actually what you want to do now is just place a block on top of each of these and go out just like that and we can fill in the remainder of the area just like that now with our stone brick stairs Going along the top, we'll go like that, and then along the bottom, we'll go like that, but we'll leave this as a gap that we can actually reach in through. And all we have to do then is fully ring the building. And don't forget to close in the back here. And there we go. 
all we need to do now is put our glow berry now the way this works is when we put the glow berry on here the observer will detect a change in state of the block in front of it and will fire a redstone signal that redstone signal will go around and fire the dispenser which is full of bone meal the bone meal will come out it'll hit the glow berry will cause it to fruit which will change the state and will keep on going around so every time you hit the glow berry and knock the fruit off the vine it'll fire the uh, the observer which will fire the uh, uh, dispenser which will put another uh, bit of bone meal on it and make another piece of fruit just like that okay so now we'll get it into cycle take the fruit off see fires another piece of fruit fires another piece of fruit and we can just keep doing this until we're out of bone meal and if you wanted to make this something that you could afk at overnight you could uh, create some form of uh, chest system with hoppers going into your um, dispenser so it is never running out of bone meal there you go I've got over a stack in just that short period of time so there you have it one semi-automatic AFK glowberry farm that you can use to get as many glowberries as you like for your builds and light them up naturally if you liked the video please give it a like don't forget to subscribe to my channel chuck me a comment and uh, if you're not already a patron and consider becoming a patron so you can support the channel and uh, get shout outs and just basically be an all-time top person um, but that's all I got time for today until next time hooroo <laughs>